Oh, shut up, Bo Tanks. You got a tank. Behind the front. Behind the front. Here's the proper guns, Lord. What have we got here, William? What are we to get out? There you go. Thanks, Will. You, go. you don't want a Sony battery, that's mine. I'll happily here take one. No, no, no chance. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go, see uh, Will giving out a few pins for our more enthusiastic guns. Yeah, so, don't, this guy close to us. Now we're going to get the old switcheroo. Now what will happen here, K140 will proceed up the uh, line of track. We will hold the points in the yard. K140 will be going back down Fall Road or our servicing road. We'll head down to the pits where uh, the crew will take a much needed break. Uh, it's good to uh, get K140 running this morning. She's running like a uh, sewing machine pretty much. Just as a friendly reminder folks, in about five minutes time at the historic Werribee Carnival will be doing a demonstration firing. That will be happening near the Way Bridge. So that will be only happening two times today. That will be one at 11 o'clock and one at 2 p.m. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to packing him. Oh well, see you guys, I'm hopping on. Yeah, go on home. See you later. Gotta go yeah. home. Right, see, Bobby, Gotta go home, don't we? Yeah. Oh, you do. Photo, I do. I'm not going on a board. Going into the the next gen Velo made by Austin. Oh, it's crazy. It's going to pack him. S class coming it's away. Crazy. There we go. S301. You gotta be quiet, Bob. Now, multiple people have gone into this, so it's nothing new. I've been in this before. Well, we've got seven. Look at the floor. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Walking down, Zelo, going up Balan. No, going up Balan. Service was going up Packenham. It's no longer now. Got P12 right there. Epic. Hey, guys, going. I changed the code to the destination board. <laughs> Got the cap down there. P15. Shut up. We got the all famous 66. And you know, just an average. Can you put the destination code to anywhere? Like, Pretty much. I wish to. Oh, yep. See you guys. I'm gonna I'm sit and wait. Uh, I'm gonna come up and pack them with you. Before people get on. You know, people get on. We're gonna sit down and wait. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I'm fine. Yeah, Alright, Isaac. How about we flee? Oh, let's go. Let's <laughs> flee. I don't want to be waiting. Yes, look now. Nice and empty. But why is that? Let's go and see S301, Isaac. D3 out there moving. K183. You've gone to Monday. Yeah, there was a guy that said you got to Monday there. Isn't that right, Bobby? Yeah. Can it be W Is the other end open? This is where I. Oh, you got it yesterday. Look at that. S301. S301 recently gifted to P, uh, to uh, Steamrail from PN. What lads? <laughs> Ten years and it's finally out. Yeah, was it? Yeah, it was like sitting there over in the east. Look at that. We got the miniature railway here, but we're more after S301. And then, oh, I'm gonna take a quick photo. Hold on. So we got A66, 2CM, which is uh, a parcel van. Then we got the Tate set. Then we got two L's, which we'll go and have a look at. And here comes the Ministry Railway now. Oh yeah, and then look, A2986 moving about. Pretty much Diamond Creek. Oh, listen to that bell. N four seven three doing its bell. You don't hear that every day. Got 
A66, my favourite A class. And we got two, yep, two CM, the parcel van. Hope to one day that they restore it. That way we can see a parcel van out and about. Then we got the regular uh, Tate set behind. And now this comes into the fun part. I don't know if Isaac is aware, but this this L class right here was in a famous movie, yeah, I Ghost know. Rider. I forgot what number it was. I'll... Yeah, I think it was L116, 69. I think it was that. And then behind that, surprisingly, this L class was over there by the T class back there. L1162 behind it? Yep, got, we've got L1162 behind it. It just needs a bit of an overhaul. We've got the cab up there. Probably go up into the cab, have a look. Wait, my mum just cleaned these fucking shoes. Yeah. How is it? I like how it's gonna be like 37. Why? I think um I think this livery for this L class was called Texas Eagle. Yeah. Or Eagle Texas, one of the two. I love it because it looks nice. Got the couplers. Got Isaac up there. Look at him. Let's have a look at the old bus. Got all the brakes and that in there. Go subscribe to Isaac. Alright, now it's my turn. Let's go and have a look at the cab. Look at that. It's pretty nice. Floor in that. Yep, it's pretty good. We got club car there with food on that. Uh, I think they're doing wine testing in that car. <laughs> Let's go and get drunk. <laughs> We've got the Tate set there. I highly recommend, if anyone wants to ride the Steam Rod Tour, I highly recommend you go on the Tate. It's an absolute lovely ride. Feeling the Tate jump around. Yeah. I highly suggest you guys go on the Tate if you ever can, because it's absolutely amazing. I'll never forget the Cranbourne shops, which I'll probably have a link down. That was a good tour. Anyway, we got seven, 700 BK, air conditioned. We might have a look in there later, but it's pretty busy because of the heat. We got the absolutely amazing freshly repainted T364 which I actually saw on an EV transfer up to um up to um what's it uh Bansdale. It, it went and traveled up there it was actually pretty good over here we got the infamous east block we're gonna go and have a look at the east block but yeah. first hey we can also go in here and have a look at this. Yep. Look at that. Oh, I heard it was mainly because of all the things that lie in there. Especially the favourite. The W class. Well, the W classes are bagged up. You might be able to see one of them. Uh, Hitachi cars? Yep. Hitachis. I don't know what that is. I'm pretty sure those are the um, the, the swing door... Parcels? No, the swing door Jollymont pilots. Oh. That's, that's what I think. Because I know there was a photo of Will James, which I'll pop in the corner. Um, 
he took a photo somewhere here and as far as I'm aware those are the Jolly Monster pilots but they've obviously backed them up they for protection. Be I'm pretty sure they're meant to be preserved. That's very good. They're trying to look at this. Most of the east block is already empty. It's full with uh, empty you can if you can zoom in if I zoom in you can see the empty H cars that once ran on the Stony Point line. Yep. During the the new deal for V line in the eighties. Once ran behind DRC and Jamar cars. Yeah. They're emptying out the uh, east block so so Metro can have more of their newest Extrapolis 2.0s in there. Yeah. So what we're going to do now, um, we're going we're gonna to walk alongside T364 over there. Yeah. We're going to go and get some photos of the Greaser, which is um, the two last remaining uh, H cars, or uh, Harris motor cars, sorry, okay. Okay. that actually ran along the line inspecting the overheads and that. We've also got another L-Class down there, I think. That's one, one no. I don't know, I think it's one of them. Um, we might go inside these cars here. We've got 100 Yep. We've got a, um, I'm gonna, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna say that's an S-Type. Steam rail have a lot of S-Types. Even 707. Yep, even 707. Uh, and we got a reserve. Required BZN car that wants to be on our big regional network and was built by the Victorian Railways. You'll notice here all the rails and that. This, all of this was amazing. Look at that. Preserved BTN, BTN. 254. Uh, PCJ behind. What an amazing PCJ. Everybody loves the PCJs. Some of them are still in operation. Oh, it's, really it's with the overland. It's yeah, that's oh. a PCO. PCO. Because these these were originally PCOs. PCJ We got the old class. Shouldn't go too far, but we're just going to get photos. So. We're not actually going to leave straight away. Now, I don't know what this is. They bagged it up. I think it's. I think these two are from the East Block, but it looks like some sort of K car. Yeah. Reason why I say that: if you compare the K car down there to the steps here, they practically look the same. Yeah. Plus, it was made by SAR. Once the uh, electrics, yep, retired greasers. We hope to see them back in service. We don't know. They're probably not. Now this. I'm pretty sure because of the bogey arrangement, it's a BW. Yeah, BW. 55 BW. Yeah, there you go. 66 BW. This is a good car. It's got the spoked wheels. Love the spoked wheels, don't we, Isaac? And here we go. Here we are. The two Harris Greases. 794 and I forgot the other number. Originally, they had the windows, like... They had been patched up. Yeah, they've, they've, they had the windows patched up. Got the original train not taking passengers. <laughs> that was a funny gig. We've got a couple of Shot of that. Got knuckle coupling. Got all of that. I don't know if you can see good in there, but see if you can see anything. I don't think they have anything. You can see where they had the original rail greasing car. Recently, here's 794M. Yep, there's 794M. See that the cab seems to have a bit of detail. I can't tell if you guys can see good enough, but I can definitely see some good detail. We've got the front of the Harris. We've got where the original um, towel disc used to sit for when it said that this is the front and end of the train. We've got the knuckle couplers. And I really 
really hope they restore it and run it again. Yeah, they will. Yeah, we're gonna but continue back. Blue Harris or just there as a racer? Well, I, I heard some rumours that um, that they, they might paint it blue and uh, chuck it on, chuck it between some Harris cars and use it as a Harris set again. Of course, they'd have to remove all of the, um, let's say, that warnings is. and ca uh, hazards that they that the Harris has had, which, um, if anyone didn't know, Harris has actually carried something that gave you cancer, which we call asbestos. Um, it's located in the roof of the Harris cars. And behind the walls. Yeah, and behind the walls. Hitachis and um, so-called Tates, but I doubt the Tates had them. Um, they pretty much had it all over. Apparently the Hitachis have it in the roof and the windows, like the edge of the windows. Um, there was a free car set that went up to Bendigo to be checked over. Apparently um, nothing came back. There was no asbestos in the windows. But sadly, that set got scrapped. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff happened with that one. It wasn't. It was not the best. Um, we'll go inside the PCJ. Come look at the PCJ. Oh, slightly lukewarm. Luggage van and luggage van. Look at that. So here we got the luggage van. Wodonga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, that says Aubrey. Greta and Vanilla. We've got the PCJ number there. We've got other things there. And now we're going into the BTN. Oh, feel that breeze. Ooh. All original seats. Most likely. We aren't too sure yet. Look at that. Crossing over. This is the uh, S type car. Got All closed off. Pretty nice. Most of, most of these carriages were seen on steam rail tours. Got a nice interior. Look at that. The next car is an air conditioning, so you've got to keep the door closed. You can walk through it, but you've got to make sure it's closed. Now we're crossing into the BK. So here we've got the BK. 600 BK. All wood. All wood. With a steel exterior and a wood interior. Yeah. That. <laughs> this would be absolutely amazing for steam rolls. <laughs> you could poke your head out. Isaac would love poking his head out. <laughs> and that's the end. Two, three, six, four. <laughs> got that coupler. Got to get that coupler. As we exit, we're going. We're going to start going through the uh, workshops. Yep, yeah, going through the workshops. Have a little bit of fun in the workshops. Go, go and take some parts and go and build our own heritage. Yeah, mate. <laughs> right, let's build the all roadblocks. We got 470M double-ended tape, recently restored. Looks amazing. The paint job, absolutely good job, Steamrail. Um, as we enter, as we enter the workshops too, so this is bay two. We're gonna start look around. 
got a couple of things like brochures and that. Like that, brochures. Now, got some Lego models. These, these, I think I know the person who made these and he has done an absolute job on them. We'll see some more Lego down the line. We've got an original VR sign of Clayton Station. Right yep, Clayton Station. We have an amazing artwork of R761. We've got uh, Kate, set, Kate Carriage number 327M yep. being restored to operational conditions. As we go down here, to the left we have a BE, I think. Yeah, 25BE, which is another carriage that they're currently restoring, as you can see from the side panels. Um, Clayton sign. There's, yeah, there's a Clayton sign. As we go down here... We've got, we've got HMT parts in here. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> yep, absolutely incredible. We've got F-type carriage and there's a buffet car this time. We've got the buffet car. There's no windows, that's how you tell it's a kitchen because of the no windows. We've got one end of the BE and now we're at the back. We got where they painted, where they paint and do all their work. We've got the amazing side of the carriage. Wonderful! I call this pretty rusted, look at that. Come on, Steam Rail. You gotta catch up on hey, your work. Don't worry. There will be a good carriage in the next part of the West Oh, we're, we're gonna see a beautiful train. This train, I can't wait till they finally restore it because it's been in the workshops for quite some time. We'll, we'll see the tender first, but then we'll see the loco. Yep, some more. We've got one end of the tape, which we'll probably go and see later. We've got all different tourist railways. Um, another S-type and another BK, I think that is. Looks like a PL though. Beautiful photos. Freshly. A beautiful fresh paint BE and I think that's another BE down there. We've got Sunbury Model Railway and the AMRA Model Railway, which you can go and check them out. Um, yep, Maryborough and Gisborne. As we crest down, we'll see Y112 which is one of the locos I was talking about with the tender not being with the loco because the loco is located somewhere over there. We've got Lego form of Newport workshops, thousands of pieces. Look at all the beautiful locos they have here. They've even got someone taking off the steamer headboard. Got the other end of the white class tender. Or a B. Looks like mm, looks like a T. Looks a bit too small to be a B in that. Yep. K163 currently yeah K160. You can see there there's the list of what needs to be repaired and what needs to be done and all of that. Um, over here we got J5141. Uh, I think it's something like that. You can see that they're, they're getting far with it. They've just got to get all the wheels and that sorted. Um, over here, we got the other half of Y112. And now, now, we got, we got the, the one project that surprisingly... Ooh, Carriage. Oh, the lovely 
carriage being lifted. But yeah, this this carriage here, this ain't just a tape, it's actually a swing door. It's one of the remaining swing doors after the uh, Arsenal fire that happened in 2015. That was, yeah. They told me, this was about a year ago now, about five years until the swing door should be operational. We've got S313 alongside an E car back there. We've got T395, low nose T. Low nose T. I like this T because of the fact how it takes advantage of the, st the uh, VR logo but replaces it with a steamrail one. S313 used to have a paint job lockout but then was repainted into the interior. Got the interior. Yep. Victoria. S313 actually had a similar design to what T395. again. The vintage train. This one I actually like because of the fact how it says the vintage train on the side. We got a, I think this is a U van here and then we got the other half of the T-class. Got number plates. We've got what seems to be a K. K class, A2, R700, K, all that. Now, we got an all favorite loco, T334, which is a flat top. Yeah, and we got T3. One of the only series tubes that is like reserved, I think. Does it still have some? Yes, I think they do. And then we got the rest of them. So here we got the freshly repainted BCE. Ah, we got S306. Uh, we got an RBB horn. We got R707 down there. And T392. We got the beautiful DT. And now we're about to go inside of phase seven, which houses P20, which was recently gifted and houses Train World. They also house 707 right over here. So this, this is 707's bay. We've got the Hitachi over there, recently given. Still plenty to sell. So yeah. Yeah, come over. As we come back here, we've got P20. T413, and then all the way in the back, if you can just see it, we got F208. Yeah, X Freight Australia with PM patches. Hitachi. Continue on. You can really tell how big the workshops is. As we continue on, you can see they got all of that. They got their shopping list. They got the derm going. Taichi, currently waiting, but we've already gone in there. We've got the other half, and then we got the final road before we go and do other things. So over here, yep, we got Derm Pavs Bay that they sit there. So, over here, a lot of derm pavs things. It's, it's pretty busy, so we might not go down there. And see, I've got a couple of theoderm things and that here. 
we've got petrol stations, all of this, because originally the derm was a petrol powered loco. Also known as the petrol, or the uh, perm, sorry. Also known as the perm. Um, we've got the derm yeah. over here, also known as a perm, but that was afterwards, after the, the uh, petrol engine got replaced. We've got the rest of the bays which aren't accessible by track. Um, we've got R7, R711 over there. A couple other things. We've got the derm. And is that all? That's it. That's practically it. Yep, so thank you guys for watching the tour. And I hope to see you soon. Trust you'll be here at 3.15 p.m. this afternoon to see four of them lined up next to each other. I will be very, very keen to see that. I've been envious of the uh, of some of the displays in years gone by when I've seen a good lineup happen. So we, I will be here at 3.15 to see that happen, absolutely. Fantastic. And what else have you enjoyed about today so far, apart from being whisked across here to talk about trains? Well, so I, I, I'm very keen to go have a look at the uh, to go have a look at the the old carriages that uh, used to transport the passengers around. Um, you know, the first thing I do when I'm here is is beeline straight for the the biggest, most powerful steam engine possible. But I'm very keen to go have a look at the uh, the traction engine I saw earlier and, and some of the some of the old passenger cars. Yeah, we've got a lot of trains on display here today, which is good to see, and we've also got lots of steam locomotives coming out to play. We'll just let these folks uh, move out of the yard. What were you saying? So ladies and gentlemen, it is 1.15pm. We are lining up three locomotives for a photo line-up display. Yeah, well, uh, I do remember reading that these were long overdue for retirement by the time they were put to bed, um, and they didn't quite have the fuel economy needed and the power to pull the, the size of the trains with Victoria's growing population by the late 40s and early 50s, but gee whiz, they went hard while they lasted. Right on. Now, at 1.15pm, which is uh, just now, or just past, is our next display, our photo lineup. C3 639, A2 We don't have to.
up on the program. We have the Quadruple R's line up. So one spare, one ninety, get it out of the track. After the show, hey, they can hear you. So, coming up, let's go. We'll be the instructions. Hey, Jimmy, you have to get up on the track. Hey, Jimmy, you have That's awesome, Kevin. Next up here. Seven and 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 se
Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for our driver Murray there for putting on a fantastic show on K190. And hopefully by the time this train uh, backs away, you'll be able to see R761 finally getting turned around on the 70 foot turntable. And there appears to be about four or five people helping with that task. Here we go, R761 being turned on the turntable. We have uh, three volunteers uh, need a tender and one guiding it around the front. His role is very important. He has to ensure that the rails are aligned but also that the uh, turntable is locked. Yes, turntables do have a lock on them, obviously, to make sure the rails are aligned when they get a very heavy locomotive like this off the turntable. So uh, this one will move forward as part of the R class lineup, which they're organising right now. further along the line. There will be a line for you not to cross. It will be adjacent to the ballast pile that you see up ahead. Down will be orderly as well. No running, please. 
Try pushing, you'll have 